What did I say? Have I not been saying this the whole time? The overwhelming number of deaths, over 75%, occurred in people who had at least four comorbidities. So really, these are people who were unwell to begin with. What? The overwhelming number of deaths, over 75%, occurred in people who had at least four comorbidities. So really, these are people who were unwell to begin with. You're a natural-born public speaker, and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. Point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do with that? What oppressed me? Just saying. So the CRT stuff is BS. Oh my God. Folks just not going to listen and get it. What's going on, folks? So as you guys can see, CDC just got done saying what they said. I guess she represents all of them. But I just wanted to know right now for the ones who were trying to so-called debunk me, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we trust the science and all this. Science is flip-flopping on y'all. That's what's happening. Science is flip-flopping on you, and you're going to keep on trying to make up excuses for science, just like people that's been played by boyfriends or girlfriends. Somebody will come and tell them, I seen your boyfriend out with this woman. Oh, well, that could have been his cousin. That could have been his, that could have been just a friend. When you say he's just a friend. Okay, not only did we see your boyfriend or your husband out, we saw him holding hands with this woman. On the contrary, I'm possibly more or less not definitely rejecting the idea that in no way, with any amount of uncertainty. Well, you know, he could have been helping her down the sidewalk and, you know, she might have had bad balance. It could have been. Okay, we saw your husband in the same car with this woman driving to a hotel. Well, you no, he's nice like that. He likes to he likes to help people as much as he can. He drops people off all the time. Do or do not know where he shouldn't probably be. Well, actually, your husband went into the room. Oh, we just wanted to make sure that nobody was hiding out in the room. I we were. Uh, if that indeed wasn't where he isn't. You got all the signs in the world, but you keep on making up excuses for him. Oh well, ma'am, actually, we got a video of your husband under the covers with this woman well he just wanted to make sure that she was warm and that she know that her body temperature stayed between 97.3 degrees and even if he wasn't that where i knew he was you guys just kept on doing it but the one who was sitting there trying to bring you the information to tell you the abcs and the one two threes and the fundamentals when it comes to a lot of medicinal stuff you guys was blasting us calling us conspiracy theorists that's not true. I have a video on here. I don't know if I'm going to play the clip. When I first started preaching this, at, I preached this at my church, telling you what the rates was, the mortality rate was, letting you know that when people come to the hospitals that I work in, that we look at their charts and we see that they have at least, I said, five to some odd comorbidities that definitely puts them at a high risk. Died from COVID. Of the, the, the rest of the number, the 96%, they died with COVID. So what you do is you have something that's called comorbidities. Comorbidities means other ailments other illnesses so with people that actually have died with COVID-19 they died along with comorbidities they're at a higher risk why because they already have five or six other life-threatening notice I said life-threatening ailments already going on along with COVID-19 so let's just say you got emphysema you might have COPD you might have rheumatoid arthritis you might have uh, diverticulitis you have all these things already going on that are already life-threatening. So your body's already trying to take care of all these ailments that's going on with your body. Then you get hit with the COVID-19. Your body like, look, I can't, I, can't, I can't handle all this. On top of the medicine that you might be taking, that your body is trying to break down and metabolize and all that too. All those things serve as foreign agents in the body. Medicine is the same way. You take medicine in, your body, if medicine was all good for you all the time, then it wouldn't have no side effects with it. So your body is trying to take care of those possible side effects along with the things I just named off, and now you got COVID on top of that too. So you're going to have a higher chance of dying from that. But that's what I'm saying. Dave's not putting these things out there. Comorbidities. The word co is in comorbidities. Like if you have a coworker, that means that person works with you, right? If you are doing something with a contract and you need somebody to co-sign for you, that person is in this thing with you to help you get to that ultimate goal, right? So if you have co-workers, all your co-workers are with you, y'all are all working together to work towards a common goal, your co-workers. If you have somebody co-sign on the contract for you to try to get a car department, that means that person has agreed that I'm going to be in agreement with you to reach the goal of paying the car off. So if you have something in your body called comorbidities, diseases, ailments, what does that mean? Those diseases and ailments all have one common goal too, and that's to kill you. Damn! 
that has nothing to do with that time because perfectly healthy people, they, they, and perfectly healthy. I'm like, look, I don't care what nonsense they've been feeding you on the news stations. I'm telling you what's coming to our hospitals. I'm telling you the patients that I treat, what's going on with them. I'm telling you about these folks that have these other comorbidities that's making their risk higher. But no, oh no. Again, y'all the people, oh, he's just holding her hand because he's trying to keep her balanced. Oh, that's not it. He's just making sure that she gets home safe. Oh, that's not it. He's making sure that nobody's in her hotel. You guys just kept on. You just couldn't do it, could you? You like the equivalence of the person that also that you got played. You got played. But because you have so much pride within you, you don't want to admit it. You want to make up some excuse. Well, no, well, well, not you. No, stop it. Stop. You do know. I keep on saying that you have to stand on truth and righteousness. Truth was going to eventually come out. One thing you cannot do when it comes to things biologically, you can manipulate biology. You can manipulate all those things all you want to. But nature itself, nature itself always is going to battle to return to what it actually is, which is nature. All day long, nature will battle to return back to what nature is. You can sit there and manipulate things all you want to. But like with this variant, like I said before, as it starts to have different variants, they getting weaker It's returning back to its source It's returning back to being just a basic common cold that we all are used to. It's not this made up thing that has not been seen in nature. Like they lied and said it did not come from no freaking bat. It was gain of function, which means some humans messed around with it to turn into what it is. That's exactly what it is. Now that the variant in our bodies, our bodies now, yeah, you can give some, you can give some, you can give a little bit of, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can give a little bit of praise to the, I guess you can, to the vaccine. I guess we're not going to get into all that, but something that your savior, and if you are not a Christian, I'm not talking to you. If you are an atheist, I'm not talking to you. If you are a Buddhist, I'm not talking to you. If you are Hindi, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those that are of the faith. It says in the Bible that our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made. He gave us something called an immune system. The immune system is so awesome that if you end up getting this COVID virus with the 29 spikes on it, your body will build up antibodies to actually combat those 29 spike proteins. It, yes, it does. Y'all say, well, what are your 29? Yes, some of y'all didn't know about this. 29 spike proteins on that protein. And each protein of that spike has its own unique makeup. The vaccine that you took is only made to actually combat one of those spikes out of 29 versus if it did get into your body, into your immune system. Your immune system made antibodies for all 29 of them. That's why right now somebody tried to sit there and debunk me. The CDC cannot produce a case. And I'm not saying they don't exist, but I'm saying the CDC cannot produce a case where someone who was unvaccinated got COVID, recovered, and got COVID again. They're not finding it in that, are they? No. I showed you guys video where the news reporter, we sat there on there. They said the Red Cross did not want anybody blood that got the vaccine because the vaccine wiped out your antibodies. The Red Cross says anyone who has received their COVID-19 vaccine cannot donate convalescent plasma to help other COVID-19 patients in hospitals. So riddle me this. If your body has antibodies and they want your blood to give to somebody else to help them fight off COVID should they get it. If you haven't been vaccinated uh, and you recently have recovered from COVID-19, you can donate blood at one of our blood drives. We test all blood donations for COVID-19 antibodies. If you know ahead of time that you have recently recovered, then you'll get, it, it'll show up, your results will come up positive. We'll be able to pull the plasma from that whole blood donation. That'll go directly to one of the hospitals locally to a patient. But the vaccine wipes out those antibodies, making the convalescent plasma ineffective. The vaccine does what? But the vaccine wipes out those antibodies, making the convalescent plasma ineffective. Did, did she say, what, why, wait, I need to hear this again, did she? But the vaccine wipes out those antibodies, making the convalescent plasma ineffective in treating other COVID-19 patients. Huh, and now a lot of y'all can use Trump right now, can't y'all? Y'all want me to get on here so you can go, fake news, that's fake news, she's fake news, she's not even a she, she may be in it, fake news. Fake news. That plasma is made up of antibodies from people who have recovered from the virus. And here's the trick behind all that. What antibodies did that vaccine knock out? It says that when you get the vaccination, it wipes out your antibodies. Which antibodies? 
See, some of y'all didn't think about that. It wipes out your antibodies. They did not want that blood. Why? Because they wanted people's blood who had naturally recovered from COVID because they can use those antibodies to people who will take your blood and actually recover from COVID. And then if they do, re once they do recover from COVID, their body has those memory cells, those memory antibodies in it as well, that if it was to possibly contract COVID again, their body's like, up. Oh, we're on top of that for all 29 of them. But like I said, what do, well, I'm just I'm just waiting for the excuses people are going to come up with right now. Huh? What, what is I just played a video the other night with Dr. Fauci, who said exactly what I've been saying all along. But my video gets pulled down when Dr. Fauci said his video can stay up. I just posted this video last night about people that are unvaccinated and vaccinated can both contract it and they both can be contagious and they both can die from it. Oh, no, you're just making up stupid. And I also said almost over a year ago that. You have a high chance of surviving COVID if you get it naturally without having to take no therapeutics, monoclonal. I said that. But if you want to take those things just to boost your immune system, fine. The point is, I specifically emphasize that if you have a whole lot of other comorbidities going on, you are at the highest risk of dying from it. So with people that actually have died with COVID-19, they died along with comorbidities they're at a higher risk why because they already have five or six other life-threatening notice i said life-threatening ailments already going on along with covid 19. now they're talking about 75 percent 75 percent huh but I'm, I'm i'm the dumb one i'm the stupid one i'm the one that oh being shut down with my fake my, my fake degrees you know I'm, with my fake marriage and with my fake children and all that and i don't want you guys to take this and think that this is some type of aha moment but there's something that I play on my channel quite a bit that I love from iRobot. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You know, somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. Tell me that's not right. That, there's no need for me to say I told you so. The ones that decided to listen to me, all are doing well. All are surviving. All have not had anything as an ounce of a sneeze or anything once they got COVID. They recovered. They stayed up on the fluids. They stayed up on certain things I cannot mention. So YouTube don't ban this video. But YouTube is water. Is drinking water bad for me to say YouTube? Y'all not going to ban me because I see it for people to drink water, right? No? Okay. So, but they're all doing well. They're all thriving. Again, I want to know what the ones who actually was trying to debunk me the whole time and thought I was just spreading false information. That's including you, YouTube. That's including you, Instagram. That's including you, Facebook. But now if Fauci say it or if this lady of the CDC, if she says it, then it's fine. But when I was saying it a year ago, months ago, misinformation, missing context, like I was making up lies. Y'all pulling my videos down, but then they get on here and say it, it's all fine. Just letting y'all know right now, folks, shadow ban. Don't forget, if you listen to this right now, be sure, make 100% sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Let other people know to subscribe to the channel because I'm being shadow banned like nobody's business. There's no way that I would have 180,000 subscribers and I post a video, it's getting 100 views. I have a channel right now where I only have like 3,000 subscribers. I post a video on there, it's getting a thousand views. Y'all see what I'm saying? So make sure y'all subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you share this video on all your platforms. Some of y'all are not even going to listen to this video. Some of y'all just going to say, oh, like and move on. You're not listening to it, though. Make sure you share it. It's up to you for this information to get out. Don't just hold this for yourself. Send it out, ladies and gentlemen. Send it out. Share it. Like it. Make sure you comment and let me know what you think. And for the ones who, that doesn't, that, no, no, because uh, uh, I, I would love to hear from y'all. For the ones who keep on making up excuses for being cheated on, I, I, I want to know what the excuses y'all have for y'all masters that be. Y'all trusting the science instead of the real people that are out there working in this stuff. Y'all just trusting with the new sin. I want to hear what y'all's excuses are right now. Please, I, I just want to hear it. All right, folks, I'm getting ready to check out. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. I hope and pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray that every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first, all right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? 